Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video and today some really exciting news. We're going to be looking at the Twin Motion 2022.2 preview version that just got sneaked out a few days ago. Now there's some really cool features. You can see the trailer playing in the background here. And I'm gonna go through the main features that I think will make a big difference to your workflow. So enjoy the video. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe. I've got lots more videos planned for the channel shortly. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, so let's take a look at one of the other really nice new features to do with the libraries this time. So if we go back to the people, we've always had things like the animated people. And the really cool thing about these in Twinmotion is you can kind of pose those and make them do various options. So if you would drag those in, remember that you can kind of pose them and get them to do different things, different actions, as well as sort of have different poses and changing the clothes. But what I really wanted to focus on now is, let's just delete that guy, is go to the post humans. Now there was actually a really good update here where basically they've divided this up into categories now to make it much easier to find the ones you're looking for. So for example, if you go to the shopping pack, what you're gonna notice in here is lots of new uh, models for shopping. And these are really, really nice, high quality assets. And the good thing about the still posed images is that basically they are super duper quality. So, okay, for the animations, the animated people are great. But when you come to do um, this sort of level of uh, work, really what you want to be doing is using the still people, I would suggest. Now you notice that I've downloaded a few of these. Um, some of them were just downloaded already, but if you do want to download more, all you need to do is come and click this icon here and just wait for a second until it downloads. And if you do want to, you can favorite it. What that means is you can see if I click on my favorites, I've actually got a bunch of favorites here. When you drag these in, you'll notice they get placed in a slightly different way. And that's because I think these are um, coming in from the Twinmotion cloud. So as opposed to the content that's immediately there. The first time you place them, it takes a bit longer. And the second time you place them, um, it will be faster. So these are really nice sort of new assets that we can use. Let's just zoom out a little bit here and sort of pan, up, pan around. You can see they look great in the visuals and very, very good for still views. Let's take a look at the uh, next new sort of addition to the libraries. And to do this, I'm actually gonna show you another really nice new improvement. So if we open up the scene graph on the left side, you can see all our various sort of people that we've added here. So what we'll do, let's select those people and now, if we right click, we can actually move them to a new container as opposed to creating the container and then moving them in. Now it might seem a subtle difference, but the nice thing about this is we can do this, let's just call this shopping people. And you'll notice that all of them were moved into that folder straight away. And um, previously you had to drag them in after you created the folder. So it was an extra kind of step that you didn't want to do. Okay, so let's just go back to uh, turn off the favorites, go back to people. And I just want to show you the one other library here is the winter pack. And these are good, you know, these are all sort of people in uh, big overcoats, nice and kind of keeping nice and warm. And you'll notice again, we've got some of the new ones here, which when you drag them in, you'll see the target. And that basically means they were um, loaded in from the cloud. So these are the new ones, the additional ones. But really, a really good improvement to the libraries of people. And I do like the way that now you've got them organized in sort of different categories as well. And by the way, if you do type in the word post in here, basically, you're pretty much going to get all the post people in one go. So if you kind of just want to look at the entire library without any distinctions, you can still do that very easy. Uh, but if you actually get rid of the filter there, then it's very nice that you've actually got these kind of different categories here that you can run through. So what do you think of the new people, everybody? I think these look absolutely fantastic and these are really gonna help my quality of my visuals. I also really like the new move to container. Let's call those winter people. Option here. And then we can turn those on and off and manage them together. So once they're grouped, of course, there's nothing to stop you from also manipulating them as a group. Let's just move them out a bit here. You can see pretty rapid. So excellent quality and a really nice new improvement into the people of Twinmotion. 
definitely good quality and something we can use in our still visuals and animations. Okay, so for the next new feature, we want to have a quick look at the library. So here you can see a project I've been working on uh, for a client. And it'd be really nice if we could kind of prop this out with some additional information. So let's have a quick look at the new libraries under the music section. So what you're going to do is just travel back to the main libraries here. And then if we go down, you'll notice under home, there's now musical instruments. Now let's open up this panel a bit here and you can see there's some really nice high quality assets that really kind of send your project off and look fantastic. Um, some of them are preloaded and again some of them are kind of actually on the cloud. So when you drag them in there's a little bit of a delay and then they'll load in. So I have a little collection of guitars. We've got a, a trumpet here. Let's just pop that up here onto this, uh, this dresser. And, you know, you can see that these are a great addition. So I think these are going to be a big win for things like the entertainment industry um, and open up Twin Motion to be able to be used in sort of, you know, things like rock concerts and stuff like that as well. Um, so, yeah, what do you think of the new assets? I think they're excellent. Let's just have a couple, look at a couple more. Let's drag in the little stand here. Um, so this is a very sort of musical household, as you can see. And finally... Have we got space for some drums? Maybe we'll just drag some drums in there. Not sure if there's space, but let's have a quick look and see how that looks. You can see the bigger models take a bit more time to load in. Um, and that's a sign really of the level of detail and complexity. Let's get rid of that chair there. So you can see absolutely fantastic. They look really, really nice, high quality. As you can see, there's some really nice, wonderful musical instruments available now in our project and remember all of these are going to render absolutely beautifully if we do invoke the path tracer with even higher quality than we're seeing in the general preview. So the great thing with the path tracing um, all of these uh, items are optimized uh, at the moment I'm on path tracing high settings just for the sake of the video let me just drop down to low settings and you know you can see they look even fantastic on low settings the good thing is it will kind of redraw um, and re-render a lot faster. So it's just going to navigate in. As soon as I release, it will start doing the final rendering. And depending on the quality settings, it will render up pretty fast. So very, very nice. But don't forget you can increase the level of quality just by going through the different settings here. Another really nice improvement, very small one, is that they've now added um, some additional units. We only had two before. I think it was meters and, and feet. Now we've got inches, centimeters. I'd really love to see millimeters for people in the UK like me who work in millimeters. So let's hope that that will make it into the next version here. And then we've got pretty much all the units we could need worldwide. Okay, so another really nice addition is the uh, additional libraries we're now getting in the electronic appliances. This was definitely something that was a bit lacking before. And as you can see, there's some really nice high quality assets that you can bring into your product super rapidly. So let's kind of populate this desk. Um, if the object hasn't yet been downloaded, don't forget you just simply click on the icon here. Now if you do want to, you can also click a favorite button there. So if I click onto my favorites, I've actually got a few favorites that I've already downloaded. Let's drag on another little gaming monitor here. Looks really nice, really high quality assets actually. Um, and you can see, so here we are, I'm setting myself up with my YouTube studio. It's a bit like my home setup in fact, um, so that we can make some really, really great sort of content for you guys. So by the way, if you're not signed up to the YouTube channel already, please do subscribe. A lot of my viewers are signed up, but not all of them and it really helps the channel grow. Uh, so I'd love to see you joining the channel now and getting signed up for this as well. What do you think of the new assets? I think these are really lovely, um, a really nice addition. Let's just sort of zoom in, have a look at this in real time. And of course, again, once again, if I do click the path tracing button, all of these are totally optimized for path tracing as well as normal rendering. So very nice addition to the new libraries, but let's just turn that favorites off and as I say, if you expand that library out, you can basically scroll through and you can see there's tons of brilliant stuff here. 
absolutely loads. So it's very encouraging to see the twin motion library being added to all the time and these are great additions. So some really nice additional assets, very detailed and very high quality assets as well. So I think these look absolutely fantastic, particularly when rendered with the path tracer as well. And there we go. Another very nice improvement in the new Twinmotion preview is that we can import multiple files in one go. So all we need to do is click open and let's just navigate through to the folder where we've got a few examples. Now you can see I've got some 3D furniture files here. Now the nice thing is they're all showing up. Let's just view those as a list view and we've got the different sort of file sizes. So keep an eye on the file size um, and basically let's go for details here. You can see we've got a few different files. Let's just select OK and click Open. And basically they're all going to come in one by one. We still get the options to uh, keep the hierarchy or collapse by material, which I'll go for. And there's also a new setting here called Max UV Precision. And what this does, it basically sorts out the UV mapping, which occasionally caused problems in Twinmotion before. Let's just go ahead. You can see it's already reading the data on those. And it's just going to progress all of those files one by one. And if we just come out into our scene, let's just cl click F. Here we go, we've got some of those files come in. Now they do seem to have come through in slightly different scales and so on as well. Um, but that's fine, at least all of the objects are available and we can actually access those as we need to. So you can see what a great time saver. Um, and all of those objects look really, really good. Basically we just need to sort the textures out as well. So what I find is, if I was to click onto some of these textures, it may be that it lost its texture path. So all we would need to do if that was the case, just pop back in and see if we can relocate the texture as required. I think it's one of these materials here. Let's just try this one. And you can see I can load that texture back into the file quite straightforwardly. So one more time, let's just see if we can relocate the texture here. So just click onto more. Um, click open and let's load in the new texture and you can see very easy then we can do things like the adjustments on reflectivity and so on. So what a great tool and a really great way to bring all of your objects in super rapidly. I also really love this new feature where we can select all of those items there. So let's just do one more thing once again let's move them all to a new container and let's type in furniture and you can see now we're able to manage all the visibilities of all of those in a single click as required. So very, very nice. Uh, let's just have a quick look at those in a bit more detail. They look great. And once we do them in the path tracing, they'll look even better. So great new feature there. Okay, so we're going to look at a couple more new features now, which are really going to make using uh, Twinmotion for things like product visualization much easier. Now you notice if I click uh, number one, I'm moving really nice and slowly. So you notice that now we've got speeds one to six. It, the original Twinmotion actually only had three speeds. But basically you'll notice that we've got the different speeds available if we enable the navigation palette here. There's also a really nice new feature here where you can actually set the keyboard shortcuts to your favorite program and including of course Vectorworks, which is mine, as you well know. So with this new speed function, we can really vary the speeds from one to very slow, two to a bit faster, three, um, right up to super fast with six and so on as well. But the real benefit of this is we can basically vary this on the fly as we're, as we're modeling. And basically if we want to, we can click F to fit to an object. Okay, now here we are looking at, say, uh, a visualization of this particular project. But you will notice if you go too close to the object itself, basically it will kind of get into the clipping where you're actually clipping the object itself and that isn't really what we want. So what we can actually do is when we create an image, let's create an image here, we can go to more and now with the camera, you'll notice that we've got a very nice new function where we can actually adapt the field of view right down to low levels of say five. Now this means it's easy for you to kind of get super close up shots, which you could not get before. Let's go a little bit faster, just to kind of maybe focus in on that lovely, lovely detail of a particular product. And do remember if we click the path tracing button, it's gonna look even better. So. This is really exciting for me um, in that it opens up twin motion to be able to be used in sort of very close up product visualizations. 
And by the way, if we just zoom out a bit more, you can see with a very low field of view, you can almost create what I call um, axonometrics or isometric views. Just uh, let's turn off the path tracing a minute. Now it can be a bit fiddly to rotate around. So here's a good little tip. Hold down shift and the middle button so that you can actually frame and click the middle button to pan. Now there's a really nice view. Let's click the path tracing button and let's just hide that navigation panel so you can see how that looks. So what do you think about the new improvements on the uh, basic low field of view? So it means you can move right into a product and zoom right in without any clipping. I think this is excellent. And I really can see Twinmotion becoming used much more widely in the product visualization industry because of this, for sure. So as well as the really nice improvements using Note 1 and 2 so we can navigate nice and slow when we're doing extreme close-up shots, we've now got a very nice new feature where if you simply left click, so I've clicked here on the top, hold shift down in the middle button, you'll notice that I can actually what they call arc rotate around uh, an area of the screen. So let's just click. Now I'm art rotating around the laptop. Can you see around that camera icon there? Let's just pan around a bit, a bit more. Um, so yeah, you can see it's art rotating there. Let's just click on the top of the headphones. Now we can rotate around there, or basically any point in the model. So it makes it a lot easier for you to actually basically get the view that you're looking for and kind of set those lovely close up renders um, of your projects. Let's just do that one more time. So left click, spin round, Let's get that nice little low down view there with the path tracing, just render that view out. So I really, really like that new feature. And I think combined with the new sort of speed of manipulation, um, this is gonna be a massive time saver. So it just means that you can kind of frame up those views really, really easily without getting lost in your project. Navigation has never been easier, but don't forget if you do want to just pop open the navigation panel and it will basically tell you about nearly all those features there, apart from the left clicking in the window to do the arc rotate. Okay, so there's another really nice, uh, fairly small but useful improvement. If we click onto an object now and we change over to the transform panel, as well as the usual kind of scaling options that we have in here, you'll now notice down at the bottom, you've actually got the object size. And uh, not that I want to resize this, but if I did, you'll notice that I can actually play around with the size of these aspects here. <laughs> That's a strange little laptop. But basically it means that you can actually scale and resize things. Um, and actually the size is extremely helpful in centimeters. Now we've got those new units there. Let's just revert that back to 100, which is the normal size laptop there. So extremely useful. Um, basically, I think for architects, particularly this object size thing will be extremely helpful. Um, and I'm looking forward to using that in my projects for sure. So the final new feature I want to show you is one that you can see playing in the video in the background is that the twin motion cloud has been dramatically improved and now can handle four times the complexity of model size, um, which is pretty amazing. Now that combined with another feature, which is a uh, texture compression, which all runs in the background, means that twin motion will run faster than ever and handle bigger files than it ever has been before. So what do you think of the new features, guys? I think these are really great improvements. I'm looking forward to testing these over the next few months. And I look forward to you joining the channel so you can follow me with my next few videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.